She in Wisconsin. Yeah, where the old ladies and the cheerleaders is having fun. Wisconsin. Yeah, they probably snorting coke and doing everything out there. Um, that's where the Walmart is, honey. Walmart's gutting them out, ready for FEMA. And in this town of 4600 west of Green Bay, seems to know what it is. I thought a car wound was coming through my house. It was that loud. The search for the source of the mysterious booms continues. The mysterious booms in Wisconsin. What do you think that is? Tunnel making. They make it. Tonight, a story about a nice place they're calling a boom. They make it. Um, I can't believe it's a plumbing issue. That's the real issue for the closing. You believe it's a plumbing issue? No, I don't. Nights surrounding the sudden closure of people don't understand that Walmart is not what you think it is. Walmart is a tunnel building company. Walmart's logo is a tunnel grinder. They doing rituals. When they make trains. Like, you don't understand. I got a job where you mad because I could just talk about what happened about trafficking. How she make her money. By doing what I'm doing now. Getting mad. Feeling pain. Being normal. Telling my truth. Without a card. Without flipping cards. But if you want me to flip these cards, I will. Because I had to figure out why they put a goddamn plane inside the Pentagon. I needed to figure that out. And I found out why. I found out why. Because they're using witchcraft in America. And people don't like that shit. Because people people die. Alright, so you got... James and WFT's mystery closing. Ain't no mystery. They closing it. Russia, China, and the New World Order. Russia, China, and the New World Order. So y'all done sold your souls to, to these people. You letting Putin just walk up in your house and put germs on you? You're not going to fight these people back? You just going to lay down or get down. You going to let them fuck you in your ass. You going to start having wild sex so you don't have to fight. You rather just like snort cocaine and let motherfuckers just bum rush you. That's the way you want to raise your children. I mean, just stay away from me. Just like if that's the way, if you want to be a soft person and you want to cook lasagna and you want to kill your husband, stay away from me and my family. That's what Candy and them do. Yeah, they kill their own family members. Throw a little bit of poison in that food. Yeah, they was killing Donald. I saw it. I saw it from a distance. I saw it through Google. I saw Candy being real sneaky. I saw Donald being sneaky. I saw Taylor being a bitch. I said, oh, she not going to be playing basketball for no more. She mad. Because she tried to come for me. They took away her opportunities. I told them that, look, nobody told people to come for people in the military. Well, I, I wouldn't. I mean, we, we sit around wondering why would you do that? Why would you try to take me and my kids to a place of no return? We we was minding our business. We wasn't doing nothing to Donald. Um, Crystal Cunningham and Crystal that was in the plays ball and the brat and all of these people done secretly did a web with Tyler Perry. They love my openness. Because they, they don't know. You have a karmic since you little. How are you supposed to act? I don't know who's my friend. I don't have any friends. Nobody is my friend. There's no, none of these. I don't, ha, I don't look. I had a son, but I don't have him no more. 
I don't feel anything for these people anymore because they tried to kill me. I don't like them. I don't want them around me. I don't want any relationships with them. I want them to stay far away from me because I would never trust these people in my born life. They kill babies. Why would I want to be around black people that kill their own babies? I don't like, they use Jews. Why would I want to be around my son's father who uses Jesus as a ploy? It's a ploy. He doesn't care about black people. When I met him, he was telling me he was fucking a white bitch. He was fucking a white bitch and he was doing crack. That's the kind of, look, he stuck his dick in me and gave me a crack baby. Why is it so hard for you to understand that some of these men are giving you crack children and oxy children? Crack babies coming from the police department, set up by your mother. I don't trust them. I don't care. I don't ever want to see these people again. Keep my. I don't want to see him. He got a white mother. He got a black cloak father. He fucking with all of these Asian people. Let him stay with them and stay the fuck away from me. Leave me the fuck alone. We don't want to see him at all, me and my sons. We don't want nothing to do with him. Because we don't trust him. He let people stick dicks in his butt. He let people put a... My son let somebody put a red dress on him. No, don't send him over here. I don't want him around me. I don't want no fucking boys around me with no red dress. I don't want him around my children. No. No. He's cloaked. He's a devil. Keep him away from me. I don't want no devil shit. I don't want to be around these people. My devil mother, my devil family. Keep these demons away from me. I will be saying a lot of prayers to keep the devils away from me. My devilish fucking son, Maurice Faulkner. I don't want him around me. My husband, my ex I don't want that fucking nigga around me. Rapist. Rapist son I got. Rapist family. I don't want them rapists around me. They rape me. They rape my children. Walter McGee Peterson. I don't want them fucking people from Virginia around me. Princess Elizabeth Smart. Fucking rapist ass girl. I don't want her around me. She's beneath me. She's trash. She's ugly. I would never want to be around Candy and her family. Them people are ugly. They drug dealers. They sell coke and then have sex with children. I would never want to be around those people. Those people are the scum of America. These people are the scum of YouTube. They're the scum of this country. When I tell you these people are cloaked and they fuck children and they pull children out of school so they can fuck you and so they can take pictures of your baby, so they can clone your baby, and take your baby's pictures, naked pictures, and put them in dark web, you would never want to leave your children around candy. You would never want to leave your children around my mother. You would never want to leave your children around Chan. These people are horrible. They kill their own babies. They kill their own members in their family. And you guys got with them, and they stole my Facebook page? And they stole my work. My company is called Taking It Black Productions. They go and call it Black Lives Matter. With Bobby Yan. And Bobby Yan is some Asian dude who was following me. Me and these black girls at Motown. A fucking Asian little TV show who's a fucking clown. Walking around saying, we're going to do movies in Mars. Why? Because the shit he did to us black women, he need to go to Mars because they'll fuck him up for the shit he did. Bobby Yan, you need to go find him. You need to find out who the fuck Bobby Yan is and why was he strolling me and trolling me with Rick Ross? Why was this Asian dude? You want to see the pictures that he took of me? You want to see all the... Pictures he took of me in front of a black cube, which is the death cult cube with Saturn. What was going through Bobby Yan's mind in 1998 when he was taking all of these pictures of me? He was taking pictures for who? Blunt Records. 
Blunt Records, I'm so high, you so high. I'll be getting money to the day that I die. That's the music we was doing, right? Well, let me tell you what happened to Andre's TV show. His mother is dead, and they burned his house down. All right? So there goes your Black Lives Matter, boo. Your mother is dead, and they're going to burn your house down. I'll say about that. Sam Walton was a captain in U.S. Make Army no Army mistake Army about France. that. I did not touch the computer. It came on by itself just now. Do you understand when I tell you there are cloaked spirits in Black Lives Matter and they conjure this shit up and they think that it's okay to gut out Walmarts and throw a bunch of Chinese motherfuckers in there for not paying attention to the uh, Constitution. I got the Constitution. I've Look, I got the Constitution in my purse. Do you got the Constitution? What? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I earned this. This is my, my birthday gift. That's right. Thank you. Appreciate you. But what I'm saying is, I watched y'all abuse me and my family for years. You abused me as a child. You abused me at my jobs. Every job I had, you tried to sabotage every time I tried to make money for myself with my mom. Gail Lacey. Every time I got money somewhere, my mother would always try to stop me from doing it. And she's a lesbian, and I got a job working at a salon on 125th Street with a gay man. And I'm perfectly fine working with this dude. But my mother, the gay girl, the one who sucks pussy, um, she got a problem. She always got a problem when I start doing stuff. How is it that Gail Lacey is a nurse, supposed to be a rehab nurse, but she got y'all smoking weed? She got y'all smoking weed, sniffing coke, and trying to kill her daughter. Trying to murder her daughter in Orlando with the police. That's a nurse. Trying to murder her grandkids, sending her grandkids to places where they put 40 feet of water in your house in New Orleans. My mother used to go to New Orleans for nursing uh, conventions. And she sent my son to Texas and he never came back. My mother been lying to y'all. My family been lying to y'all the whole time. Y'all been lied to. Y'all tarot card readers been lied to. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry they lied to you. You know what? And the Wu-Tang Clan, back in the 90s, they said you gonna run up your credit. And credit don't matter. Right. They don't, and nothing matters anymore. Nothing even matters anymore. So, Kev Rose said he going to stay home and play games. Next minute you see a bump on his eyeball. He laughing at me the whole time. Took my money, took my $40. Laughing at me with Trump. Laughing at girls in Florida. Laughing at us. Laughing at us. Setting us up putting their hand across their, uh, their neck, saying a lot of people is going to die. A lot of people is going to die. That's what he told us. 
He said a lot of people was going to die. The guy from Cali that was talking about Gene Deal, the probational officer. He said a lot of people going to die. A lot of people going to die. That's what Kevro said with Trump. She said he's a Trump supporter. He said a lot of people was going to die. And they trying to kill cops, women, military people, and gays. They want to kill all the gays. He said a lot of people going to die. A lot of these gay people. They're going to start killing. Like if you've had an abortion, a lot of people are going to die. They're going to start killing people. That's what they said. He said a lot of people was going to die like if you had an abortion. A lot of people was going to die. That's what L.A. was telling us. A lot of people was going to die. Nipsey Hussle, you know, Tupac, and, you know, Kirk Burroughs and Diddy and Gene Dill. You know, a lot of people is going to die. Nina, Nene, and Noom Noom, and you better get rifles. They told us you better get these rifles. You better start buying your rifles because they're coming. They said they're coming. These people are coming to kill us. You better buy guns. They said this to us in Orlando. They told us, the police told us that we better buy guns. We better buy stuff because these people are going to try to murder us. They're coming for us. They came on our property. They came to our house. These people came to our pools. They came. Val Demons and Donald Horton started to attack me in my home. They robbed me. They took stuff out of my house. They robbed Kim Kardashian. They robbed these people. Kanye told us to say, fuck radio. He did tell us that. Kanye said, fuck radio. You want to hear, you want to hear him say it? He said, fuck radio. Kanye, El Pablo tour. I said, oh shit, here we go, here we go, fuck radio, here we go, it's time, it's time, they about to kill people, people gonna end up dead, because they say fuck radio, so I'm, I'm like, well, let me pull my work down, let me pull my pages down, after that, I didn't have no work on there, I pulled my work down. Fuck radio. He said, DJ Khaled got hitters. He said, Jay-Z got hitters. Fuck radio. Jay-Z got hitters. They got hitters. Who's been trying to kill us? Beyonce? Yup. What? Beyonce been putting hits out on girls? What? With her father? With G-Unit? What? With the police? Beyonce been putting hits out on people for no reason. Cardi B and them been putting out death hits on girls because what? Because they karmics? And, and, and the girls that they karmic in, we didn't know they want us dead. We looking at these people. We in the military. They looking at us like, what you going to do? Here go Kanye, El Pablo, tour. All right? That famous mic drop. That mic drop, right? That famous mic drop. All right? How long did that rant last? If you want to be on camera, you want to be behind. Let me tell you how long the rant going to last. Whatever it is. Dan Patrick, this is the school I went to. This is some gay man in the sports casting thing doing rituals 
on students, setting us up to be bullied by Diddy. Using Diddy to do double ganging at Change the Game. And there's a, a plane in an orange circle. The orange circle is the Epcot ball. So they over there at the Epcot doing rituals with Donald, with food. He couldn't get inside that job. He had to use a Spanish ID. That's the man he fucking. Donald fucking some Spanish dude that came in my class and tried to sabotage me when I was in school. It's some Spanish dude, Donald is fucking, that keeps coming after me. That used to be in the military. Some dude that went to the first school. Some dude who's stalking me because he's fucking Donald. And he's fucking with the police. And they setting girls up. That's fu- This is Spanish dude who's fucking Donald. And Donald is not telling girls that they fucking. And the dude is walking around fucking up Donald girlfriends. Fucking up Donald people that Donald fuck with. Donald is fucking some dude. Donald is saying he's married. But he's really fucking some Spanish dude. And they look. All right? He showed me the dude ID. Right? He used the ID to get the job at Epcot so he could stalk me, so he could do this thing on y'all, so he could make it look like I'm chasing him. Wrong. He had a job at the Epcot. He was already trying to get over here. He wanted to see where I was. I think he came one time. I think one time. And never came back. He was over there at the fucking Epcot. What? Stalking girls. Stalking me. Maybe having sex with my neighbor. Maybe having sex with people on my block. Maybe secretly robbing me. Doing things to me. And I didn't know it. Then when y'all locked the country down... There's these false reports. Y'all saying do a back, y'all telling us to do a contact tracing. Who did you sleep with? Who was you around? Who was you with? Well, I was celibate for four years, so it wasn't that many. You know what I'm saying? So you got a contact trace. Well, I was, well, I lived with Donald for five years. Like Donald and me was living together. Back and forth while he was fucking those girls at Ivy Lane and fucking all of those dudes. And they was doing, you know, missing children cases and stuff like that. And, you know, car accidents and conspiracies. And trying to blame girls and telling girls, you know, if we, if you get arrested, well, we can get you out. You know, you know, we get, if you get arrested, don't worry, we can get you out. That's what they was telling us. Yeah, they was working with some Bell's bondsman down the block from the barbecue pit that do taxes. Say, you know, if you get arrested, you know, you know, and they, it's like they come to your house and stalk you, right? He's stalking you at your house. To make you mad. To piss you off. So you could get in your car, right? When you get in your car, you trying to, like, I'm going to get you. Like, you know, you, he done made you that mad. You, This is the old me. And then you trying to get in the car to catch up to him. The car is stopping and starting. They done fucked your car up. That's two cars. They put, look, these complexes out here, your car is just sitting duck. Your car is outside. 
The person that Donald was working for, the Spanish dude, his car was inside. Because he already know what these niggas do. And then they get you a bucket and a mop. And Donald looks in his phone. And Donald says, you see all these people in my phone? These are licks. So I, uh, so I was like, okay. All right. All right. All right. So he, got, he, he gets you these jobs. He gets girls jobs. But you're doing crime the whole time. He's trafficking girls with the Outback Steakhouse. He's trafficking girls, like, different jobs, like tarot readers. Now, see, I hadn't been around him in four to five years. I just started seeing the whole thing broken down within since y'all went into the Wuhan. But, see, when you opened up these dispensaries, he used these girls in there, these white girls, at Truly to make, to isolate us. To make us, like, to wait outside in a line by the garbage can. You know why you waiting for your, like, doing shit like that. That's, if that's how they want to sell you medication, I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing to do with the way Orlando is handling the medical weed business. Hell fucking no. It's a trap. Because Donald and them is using it against you. You don't want nothing to do with these people. You don't want nothing to do with no white people weed. No government weed. Because they're using it against women. Oh, she, oh, she, oh, have you, have you did this today? Have you... Was you driving? You ain't never had an accident when you smoked before, right? But being that you done went to the Truly stuff. Oh, were you driving here? Uh, t- t- blow into this. Blow into it. Okay, you're all right. Oh, uh, no, we got one. You know, it's just a trap for another trap for another trap for the KKK to keep robbing you. And it's too expensive. It's way expensive. It's too much. Drink more water. It's too much. Too much money. Too much money. Oh, oh, every three months you got to renew this. Every year you got to renew that. No, it's too much bureaucracy. And they got people watching you. Nobody wants shit to do with it. you rather be like, you know what? Give me some Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm good. Give me some Vapor Rub. Put the shit in my nose. Thank you very much. Put that fucking Vapor Rub right there in my little nostrils. Oh, you can't breathe? Guess what? I'm about to breathe. I'm about to breathe. I'm about to breathe, boo. I'm about to breathe. Because you scam me with this product. Alleviate. Yeah, Putin gonna give me some shit to put in my nose. I'm doing Putin stuff. Yeah, because you gonna take my Gmail. So I'm gonna just tell you Putin is selling this shit to, to veterans. And the police. And Stormy Wellington. And Juju. And Donald and them. Right? And they want you to have a shit. They want you to shit shit out all your fat off your body. You know, they want you to drink some goddamn sea moss. You want some sea moss, girl? You want some sea moss? They want you to shit it out. And I'll talk about it later. Natalie and them. It's the same scam when they blew up the World Trade Center. It's the same. When I tell you these people do the same scams with these Asian people, they got to get rid of vitamins. 
They make a lot of drugs, okay? They got to get rid of vitamins. They got to get rid of their ginsengs and their marijuana and their... Whatever they making, they got to get rid of it. So they got to come up with a plan. Like, let's just say Cardi B has AIDS. Let's just say she has AIDS. Cardi B has AIDS. Oh, my God. It's a rumor. You know, like, that's what they do. Let's just say that, you know, Diddy has AIDS. Yes, Diddy has AIDS. Yes, shut the country down. Yes. Let's just say that Magic Johnson has AIDS. Yes, Magic Johnson has AIDS. Let's shut the country down. No more basketball for you. I'll never play basketball with you again. You got the AIDS, cootie. I don't want to stand next to you. I would never want to fuck you. I would never. Ew. Ew, you're marrying her. She has herpes. I would. Oh, you're going to you're gonna suck her pussy? Ew. You're going to get bumps all over your face. Ew. I would never marry her. Ew, ew, she tried to set you up. Oh, wow. She tried to set you up to kill you and you're still going to marry her? Wow, that's nice. I can't wait to go to your funeral. Because that's what this, look. The bitch is writing a book about you. Look, I saw Rena Blair's scam before Rena Blair. I saw the scam and then he married it, right? They wasn't married. No, not when I first found out. They It was fake. Fake, everything fake. And then I'm looking and I'm like, <sighs> it's not even a girl. Orlando fake news with Val Demons. A lot of people going to end up dead. Yup. Yup. A lot of people. Because I, I looked at the shit like it was real at first. I was like, I was like, these motherfuckers is shooting each other. Like, what the fuck? Oh, they not shooting each other. They not shooting each other, Kelly. It's not real. Do you think Sandy Hook was real? And I'm looking at these people like, why are you asking me that question? And I'm in the goddamn jacuzzi. Uh oh. Why are you asking me these weird questions while I'm in the jacuzzi? Somebody opened up my package. Somebody opened up my package. Yup. It's all love. Yeah. They go to headset. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, somebody opened up this. But that's all good. Cause, oh, there's the... Oh, oh, beautiful. Absolutely fabulous. Well, you guys. I moved up in the world. And uh, I'm doing my unboxing. Because I went to Full Sail University. And, uh, you know, they give us things to do, and they give us things. But if you could just buy the shit yourself, you don't have to go to the school and spend $64,000 or $34,000 to be scammed and have your identity stolen. You can just get the shit yourself. Get the laptop yourself. You could just buy the laptop yourself or buy whatever you want yourself. Why would you go to Full sale? Because you want this man, Dan Patrick, to scam you and steal your identity and make you look bad in front of your family with a bunch of boys. And you a girl, you a girl gamer or you a girl programmer 
but these white men, you know, they just, white men, gay white men and black women, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bad relationship because they want to have sex with our kids. It's a bad relationship with white men right now. They abuse our children for their gay reasons. Cops, correctional officers, they just real evil. But then if you can be gay, then you get over. But if you want to be, you know, a man that takes care of your family. If you want to be a man that is like the kind that just has one woman and you taking care of kids or you the man that don't take care of kids. You the man that walks around pimping women. White men don't give a fuck if you pimp black women on YouTube with Tarry. White men don't care about you like that. If you if they did, you would have a better job. You would be able to show your face. White men don't want to look at you because you obviously are not attractive. If you was attractive, you would show your face. They don't want to look at you. They don't want to look at you at all. They just want to see your ass and your titties. That's real degrading. Don't you think that's degrading? You got one picture of y'all. That's not them. That could be a picture of anybody. (laughs) Exactly. A picture of their dead sister. These people have scammed us so bad. The scam is like this. What you going to do for me when the chips are down? They ain't going to do nothing. You got 825 gigabytes. What? 825 gigabytes. What the hell is going on here? I do not know. But I'm unboxing it. And see, when you a mystery shopper, (laughs) I'm the mystery. You're a mystery. You're a mystery. That's my job. I'm a mystery shopper. So they going to go in Take my clothes out the spa. Oh, I can breathe again. My nose feels really good. Take my clothes out the spa and do rituals on my stuff at the hotel. And do rituals. They doing rituals over there at the Omni. Yeah, they doing rituals. And then I can hear the girls saying, oh, he was burnt in the sun. Talking about my son. Like they like they doing these rituals down here in Orlando with these Haitians. They use a Haitian people to do rituals. And then they wondering why people is dying. Because they're using people for rituals. And you're not supposed to do that. Yep. Donald been doing the same rituals to me year after year. And I didn't know it. The same sacrifices. Going, doing rituals on my birthday. June 25th, all the time. I never get a break. They always doing that to me. I never get a a say-so. Well, can I do a ritual to them? Can I sacrifice somebody? Can I throw somebody's son under the bus? Can I run over somebody's child? Can I give somebody some poison like y'all do? Can I stick some piss in somebody's mouth? Can I go put some doo-doo in your child's face? Can I go put some uh, fingers in your child's ass and call it an Amber Alert? Can I do that? Like you did my kid? Yeah, okay. I'm going to just tell you what y'all did. You figure it out how it's going to come back at you. You feel me? I'm going to just tell you what they said. All right? 
I'm going to tell you what they have done, what has happened to these people, and then y'all figure out how you going to deal with the backlash. Because we the victims turn survivors. Y'all say y'all survivors of what? Victimizing us. What did y'all do? Well, y'all just worked us to death and never paid us. That's all. Nothing. It's just called works uh, trafficking. You just gave us like 30 years of work and never paid us. You just made millions of dollars and never paid us. You made billions of dollars and started talking to white men and left us in the dust. You and your husband. You just started picking your nose with your kids and, you know, left us in the corner. You just started charging us for the same work that we do for free. No donations. What did we get? You get scammed in a house with a ghost by Diddy and Jay-Z and Wicca and Beyonce and her father and her mother. You got scammed by Justin Bieber. Now he's walking around talking about what? He got a slanted mouth. He can't feel on the side of his face. Oh, did he do that? Oh, they'll give you an illness. You ain't got one? Oh, wait until you get one. Then you can go get yourself a weed card. That's all he wants you to do is get yourself a weed card. Meanwhile, Kev Rowe over there at L.A. playing Xbox. And on Discord with the police. Mm -hmm. Let's keep working, you girls. You girls and guys. We're going to keep working. While you flipping those things, I'm going to be coming up with the new code. Yeah, I'm a coder. Fuck that. I know exactly what I'm doing. Fuck that. I'm going to come up with my own code. Y'all coming up with tarot readers code. Fine. I found a whole new code. Yes. Yes. A bunch of Asian girls. Uh-huh. Yeah, a bunch of Chinese chicks. Yeah, I, I need to stick around them Asian girls. Yeah, I like them girls. Word. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. We're going to stick around them Asian girls, right? Because they got the best Remy hair, right? Child, please. They got the best hair ever. They got the best synthetic hair. Oh, and I love that uh, that that new stuff y'all call edge control. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, oh, look at what they gave me. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. I'm excited. This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe I'm living this life. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I don't know what to say. I have no idea what to say. I don't know what to say. It's it's blowing my mind right now. Because when I was kidnapped and they put a knife to my neck from the Jacob Javits Center, um, you know, I was doing my work like I'm always doing my work. And they, uh, came after me for a date. They wanted to date me. So I basically, you know, I didn't want to date him at first. Mm -mm. I was turning him down. I did it like four times. I kept turning this man down. Yep. On that, it was like the third time he got in touch with me. I said, okay, I'm going to Chinatown. 
Oh yeah, I'm I'm Chinatown girl. I'm going to Chinatown. And I'm going to get me some food. You want to go? That was the first date. That was the very first date I had with him. Walter McGee Peterson Jr. And he already was bootlegging CDs, and I did not know this. And... And this man came with me and he acted like he was nice. He acted like he was cool until we got the groceries. It was, it was, it seemed like a perfect little, you know, hood, hood date. You know what I'm saying? Perfect little Dominican date. Well, you look Dominican. You look Dominican. Well, you look Dominican. You look Dominican. You not Dominican. You look Dominican. He kept saying that to me. I'm like, nah, I'm Trini. I'm Trini. I didn't even know I was Cuban. Why? I did not even know back then. I kept telling him I was Trini. American. Yeah, that's what I said. I didn't know I had this Cuban white blood yet until years later. So we gonna get to the house with the groceries. We gonna start putting these groceries away. He was in the kitchen. He gonna pull out a knife. The cop, the G unit dude. He gonna put it to my neck. He's going to say, if you leave me, I will kill you. And then he kissed me. And then the sex happened. And then after that, he says, you're pregnant. He told me I was pregnant. Somebody sent this man... Somebody, somebody sent this man to come for me. He he got a million business cards. He was already doing TV shows with what? He was already doing TV shows with NYPD Blue. He said he was doing television shows with them. And he was already doing TV shows with, he had an agent, he had an agent, he had an agent, and they was already putting him in movies and shit, right? Little extra roles and stuff. And then when he meets me, I got my card, Hip Hop Health, my card said Hip Hop Health. I still got these cards. And he took it upon himself to violate me and to never go back to his job. Now, if you girls on the internet want to bully me about a cop raping me that way and he stayed in my house, I had to go to the Bahamas. I had to go videotape Will Downey and Mickey Howard. I said Mickey Howard and Will Downey. Yup, I did say that. Michael Jackson, baby mother. Yup, I said that. All right. So, I went to... I went to... Film these people in the Bahamas. And I put my feet in the water. And guess what? All of these little fishes was swimming around my feet.
swimming around my feet. Guess what? I was pregnant. Didn't he tell me I was pregnant? When I looked at these pictures that I took my son to see Candy. When I took my son to see Candy. They put me in the room. Me and Candy was in the room with the baby. There was mirrors all around us. Mirrors. I looked at these pictures today. After the tarot readers talk about mirror magic. Huh? And then I could go into these pictures today. And see mirror magic. I could see people putting crip signs on me. My husband. Who went AWOL from his ship when he was AWOL in my trailer? I could see him putting crip signs on my on his fingers. I could see it. I could see girls that wanted to get their hair done by me, white women, putting their hands on their face in a certain type of way. Uh-huh. In the pictures. Look, these people live their own little secret society lifestyle in the 80s. In the 80s. So you know they've been doing stuff to me since the 80s. Every time I turn around, they're doing something to me. They've been doing stuff to me. Dan Daling, he's a lawyer. That's the recruiter. So are they secretly trying to fuck with their people that they recruited? Secretly trying to hurt people in their crew, in their troop, coming for women in camps that 139 maybe, I don't know, K139. That was the camp that I marched with in Orlando. Canopus, USS Canopus. Like, why are they doing this to us? Sandy Hook. That was the girl, Gigi. Sandy and Gigi from the Navy or Mama Gigi? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know who these names are in the computer, but we know these people named Mama Gigi. And we know Gigi from New Jersey being in the military. I know Liz, and she come down here, and she say, don't tell nobody I came, but she come down here to scare me. These are my friends and my family. I'm very hurt. I'm very strong, but there are times when I just think about these people that I do remember that want to come and see me, but then they don't want to come see me no more. And then they, and then they shut the country down and try to hurt me and my family. And then these tarot card readers that I do not know are so evil. These girls are evil. They talk so evil. I don't like them. Because all of these girls talk about devils. They talk about people and the demons. They all, they don't have anything good to say about anybody. They're all pushing out these evil agendas. And they're so nasty. How these men are having sex with other people. And they're having sex with this one. And they're having sex. And they like to have sex with this one. And they're having sex with their cousin. Like, we're in the military. We haven't seen our family in years. We're listening to you girls. Like, who are you people? Who hired you people to tell us this stuff? Who hired these girls to tell us this evil, nasty stuff about our families?
Who did this? Who did this? Whoever did it, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Whoever hired these girls, you're gonna get fucked up. Whoever hired these people, whoever hired these people to kill us, you're gonna die. you're gonna get fucked up, Trump. You're gonna get fucked up, Putin. You white people are gonna get fucked up. You don't wanna hear me losing. But you know you're gonna get fucked up for this racist shit you did to me. The name of the game is to remain calm. No! The name, the name of the game is to bust their ass. The name of the game is to bust their ass. You don't sit at home and you don't wait for people to murder you and your children. You go out there and you bust their ass. For lying to you. You go to YouTube and you knock on their doors and you ask them, what the fuck are you doing? You go inside corporate America and you knock on their doors, knock on their doors, knock on their doors. And you ask them, what are you doing to our children? Why are you murdering our children in record labels? Why are you murdering children in movie companies? You go to Trump and you knock on Trump's door and you ask him, why is he selling cocaine in this country? Why is he lacing cocaine with fentanyl? You go and you knock on his door. You go and knock on Trump's door. And you ask him, and you go and knock on these people's doors, and you go right to their house, because they came to mine. You go right to Kev Rowe's house, and you ask him, why are you trying to kill people for no reason? Because your sister is gay. Because his sister is gay. Why are you men trying to hurt black women? Because you raped us. And you're getting caught for it. And you set us up in all types of sexual shit with fucking Chinese people in wars. You go and ask Trump, why the fuck do they keep letting these Chinese people in their fucking country and putting porn in our goddamn computers? You need to go and ask them, why is there so much goddamn porn on a goddamn computer? And you need to shut it down. I shut all that shit off. All of it. She did. It's still up there. If I can get it down, I take the shit down. Some of the shit I can't even take down. But I can go back inside and see you clearly was scamming me since I was born with a cult. I can see it. It's horrible what you did to me. It's horrible what y'all do in my family. It's horrible what it's horrible what I was born into. I can't even believe I was born out of that woman's vagina. It's embarrassing to come from her. It's embarrassing to be related to this boy named Maurice Faulkner. He's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to have a husband named Maurice Faulkner. It's embarrassing to have a baby by a rapist. It's embarrassing to know a person like Diddy. It's embarrassing to know a person like Beyonce or she's married to a dude and he got her out here trying to murder people. That shit is fucked up. It's embarrassing. It's disgusting. And you got your family out here telling people, well, he done fucked this one and he's having fucking sex with this one. This is coming from Orlando. This is coming from a place where there's children. And we are sitting around cussing each other out. Trying to figure out what did Florida do to us? With Rebel Black and these goddamn people from Cali and all of these people in the music business with these goddamn Jews. What did they do to us? They made movies. 
They made music and they never paid us. And you guys are sitting around saying, oh, you're coming into a, your ten of pentacles. You're coming into your pentacles. How the fuck do you know what I'm coming into? How the fuck do you know me, period? How the fuck do you know how many abortions I had? How many niggas fucked me? How the fuck do you know? Because you don't mind your lesbian business. You don't mind your gay business. You're so caught up in everybody else's pussy business. When the nukes come, everybody's going to be sitting around. Why is the sky black? Why is the sky black? Why can't we see beyond the floor? You won't be able to see. I had the dream. See, you people want to test my clairvoyancy. And that's what I hate about y'all. How y'all say, you know what? We, they didn't believe you. I don't need y'all to validate who I am as a black woman, as a clairvoyant woman, as a blessed woman with three sons. I don't need you to tell me I got this and I got that. You got you sitting over there trying to direct me and I could get on a base right now and go buy anything I want. And go stand by a nuclear missile and take a picture like it's nothing. And you sitting around trying to tell me how to live my life in love when I don't even love these niggas. These niggas came after us fucking dudes. These niggas came after girls that they can't fucking be around. So they forced their way on our property. They forced their way into our record deals. They forced their way into our houses. They forced their way by either knife point, by shootings, by guns, by coming into our house. McDonald Horton and Val Demons. They forced their way into our homes. They forced their way into my life. By force. Nobody wanted to be with Donald. Donald was brought to me by force. He was hired. He was hired. Trump hires people to kill your daughters. Why is it so hard for you black men to believe this? That Trump wants to run for president and he's walking around. He wants to murder your daughter. For no reason. Because he's a perverted rapist. Because he wants to fuck his kids. So we going to put him back in the White House? I do not think so. We, we, there will be a fight. We won't put another rapist back in the White House. We already have one there. Oh, I'm married to this one. Bitch, I'm married to. Where is he? He's with the next bitch. Why? Because he's a loser. He's already a loser. They're gay. Losing. Marrying girls. Already gay and then leaving the girls and going to play with the gay man while you take care of the kids so they can go sell the meth with Trump and do fake news on you and then call you later. I thought you was dead, 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 bitch. I thought I thought you was dead. Somebody baby mother about to die. Oh, somebody about to get hit by a car. Oh, somebody about to leave. Oh, somebody getting evicted. Somebody getting shot in the head. Somebody dying. I return it to the sender. I return all of that to the sender. Somebody about to... What, baby mother? What? 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 Return it to the sender. Return it. Bye. You don't belong here. YouTube scammers. Scamming ass people from YouTube. Malik and Donald and Shadow the Unseen and his brothers in jail. Free King Tut. Y'all been stealing my music, Shadow. You and Cool in the Gang. And then you got what? Angelo Ellaby and Snoop to go get a Kelly? Like, I'm really mad. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn idols. 
It say in the Bible, fuck all idols, correct? Don't worship no motherfucking idols. <laughs> so I'm not fucking worshiping you. But you want to worship me. You want what I got. You want to steal what I got. You want to eat my pussy. You want to eat my pussy, don't you? And give it to the next bitch. Oh, we're stealing her energy. This is what these people is doing. Oh, oh, something like that. Oh, then, you know, we're just investigating you. No, you're not investigating me. I don't give a fuck who you investigating, Diddy. Diddy, Diddy been pulling his pants down in front of Biggie Smalls and all. He fucked Biggie. That's why. Big, where's Biggie? Biggie ain't here. Cause Diddy stuck his dick in Biggie butt. Diddy had sex with Biggie and then killed him. He had sex with Biggie Smalls and then killed him. Y'all don't like the truth. Oh well. Somebody going to die, right? It ain't going to be me. How come Gene Deal know all Puffy sex toys? And Puffy got all of them people working for him and he acting like that, right? Because that's the way he trained you. That's the way he trains his workers. That's the way he trains his, his people to, what did Gene Dill say? Oh, he twists us out. That's the correct terminology. He twists us out. So Donald asked me if Diddy was gay. Donald, is Diddy gay to you now? Did Diddy have sex with you yet? Are you happy? Did you and Diddy put me in this house here? Are you going to pay the mortgage and the car note for the scams you've been doing? Because you robbed me. Now I got to sue you online with my mouth. I'm suing you, uh-huh, for slander because you a lying ass bitch. And I'm going to sue your black ass for robbing my house at City West. We got your ass. Look, you was at my house. A lot of times when I wasn't there, he cocked the windows back. Donald had my windows cocked back like where you can't lift them up, but a certain enough for his body to fit through all the windows. So the church came in, the pastor, right, right. And they went to each window and they put the windows down. They made sure that the hatch went up and down the right way because Donald had cocked my windows back with who? With who? With who? Shine Poe's uh, family. Is Shine, Donald, and Diddy all working together with Alex Griffith Moody, with Alex Jones and Professor Griff scamming girls? Order in the court. Order in the court. It's true. It's true. You got a dude from Cali doing car accidents in Orlando. Working with Barrington Levy and Sean and Diddy scamming the whole planet because they do car accidents and they doing facades so that they can collect insurance money. Their music ain't selling. I mean, Digibytes, like, nobody gives a fuck. So I guess they, what, Allen Iverson and Diddy playing, like, I Spy motherfuckers, you know, and then I'm looking at these people like, all right, What's going on with Allen Iverson? Why is what's the connection between Diddy and Allen Iverson? What's the connection? I don't know. I don't know the connection between Diddy and Allen Iverson. Could someone please tell me? Oh my God! Please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> This stuff is so good for allergies. 
The name of the product is Alleviate. It, it just gets all the gook out of your nose. All the allergies, the pollen, because I'm an allergy girl. But I hate taking pills and shit. But it looks like I might need to take one because of my nose. But these people... Da, 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 secretly kidnaps me. They kidnap you and give me headaches. They, they try to throw energy out there. They know I see it. They know I see it. They know I'm looking at this shit. Um, I try not to watch the news anymore. I don't want to look at the news anymore. Because I know they be trying to fake me out. So I don't watch that. I'm getting more into my craft. I've been painting a lot more. I love to paint. See, Donald knows, like, yeah, she do like to paint if I paint. So, when he's with me, there's creative sparks that flow, but he's he's a whore. He, it's like he's not loyal. He's not loyal. He's not loyal. He was never loyal. He was hired. He's a hired... He's a trained hired murderer that, you know, he was a murderer. What do you want me to do? He's a murderer. He's like a Dexter. What do you want me to do? I got Dexter wanting to kill me. What do you want me to do? Dexter's wanting to kill me. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. If Dexter wants to kill Kelly and Donald Horton wants to kill Kelly and Diddy and Usher and Jay-Z want to kill Kelly and Beyonce want to kill me and all of these people have been trying to kill people because they were hired to uh, be us, you know, and then once they become us, they want to not share the wealth because we did do the work to make them rich. Um, you know, these girls in the strip clubs, you know, they got weapons of mass destruction with these men and they want to be strippers when we not strippers. We not doing that. We never was those girls. But then you got these girls, they be putting these germs on these girls, Rebel Black and them and, um, Doc Frank, they put the germ on your kid. They put the germ on you. They set, they set you up like you want to get in the jacuzzi or there'll be a dog. They know you're allergic to dogs, but the dog is running around the house. They know you're allergic, so they put the dog downstairs, but there's a jacuzzi downstairs. They trying to get you to get in the jacuzzi because they know the jacuzzi is infected. Right. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Bone Crush. I ain't never scared. Welcome to these people. That's what they do. I don't understand how you could, like, 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 literally, like, you met people in a scam, right? And, you know, right now, it's like, y'all developed, like, these witch covens, like, these little suicide cults, and then, you know, you get on TV, and then you, you got money. Right? You got cars. You got all of this wealth. Right? And then I'm sitting back in my house. Right? I did all of this work. This shit is with me. I'm sitting over here with all of this work. Right? But nobody never paid me. You see what I'm talking about? Like, like Rebel Black and DJ Wyatt, what they did to me, yo, with Trina, how they kept, like, Bringing me to clubs, right? And it'd be nobody in there, yo. It'd be like, where's the people? You know? They kept doing stuff like that. They kept bringing me to clubs. DJ Wyatt, Rebel Black. You know, Rico TV and them. People from Full Sail. Like, bringing me places. 
and it'd be like 10 people in the club. Like, what is that? Or bringing me places. And then somebody's stealing my keys and Mercedes Streets is stealing my keys. Telling me she want to be, she want her hair braided like me. And then these people, they like when I'm upset. They like, this is what, the, this is what's making them happy when I'm sad. But when I start crying like this, this only makes people lay them to rest. It only puts people in their grave. Because these are not no fake Hollywood tears. These are the tears of a person who knows her mother wants her dead. Since she, before she was even born. Like, how can I get rid of this child and I'm a teenager? And I'm about to have a baby and I'm a teenager. But the thoughts in my mother's head was, how can I kill this baby that's in my belly? See, I went through those feelings as a child. And you know what? I went through those feelings as an adult. So I know what it's like to go through all of that. I know what it's like to be pregnant and not want a child. I know what it's like to be pregnant and want the baby. I know what it's like to be pregnant and a man don't want you to have a baby. I know what it's like to be pregnant and a man is their baby and they saying it's not their baby. I know what it's like to be pregnant and people is beating on you while you pregnant. And there's nobody to help you. But some neighbors, some Jamaican neighbors that your family done set you up with. Everybody that I ever had a child with, never real love. Nobody. I was with somebody that I thought I could love. And then y'all took him from me. You took him from me. And you gave him to my friends and my family members because you didn't want me to be with him. Because he was a little different. Or he was a lying devil Capricorn dude. So you snuck him around me to murder me. And then you took him away from me to murder me again. And now you keep having him wanting to murder me with tarot card readers. And you keep trying to murder me and my children. And you keep trying to murder me and my children in this country. And you keep trying to murder me and my children. And you keep trying to murder me and my children. And you keep trying to murder me, Maurice, Jesus, and Messiah. And Donald Horton trying to murder me, Jesus, Maurice, and Messiah. You tried to murder me, Kelly, Maurice. Messiah and Jesus. That's four people y'all tried to kill. With tarot readers. With white women. With tarot readers and white women and police. You tried to murder me with cops in Harlem. You tried to murder me at the at, at with with the uh with the uh Harlem week. But you had me upstairs with Lauren Hill and the Fugees. And we was watching y'all get stampeded on from the Orphan State Building. We saw everything and I got that shit too. And I put it on the internet. I let you see just how y'all act when we get together. And y'all want to start shooting while little children is around and shit. I can't fuck with y'all. I can't fuck with these people. These people are... Horrible! Then he is horrible! He is a terrible. These people are terrible. They have events just to get you murdered. They have platinum parties just to invite you to murder you. They have events Film festivals and all types of college events. And they be planning and plotting how to kill you with Mercedes streets. And, and, and Diddy. He... 
Diddy walk around hurting girls with Clive Davis using NFL plays against us, killing our black sons for sports shit. And we can see it. And they're getting desperate. And Donald wants to kill my kids because he can't fuck my children. <laughs> because he can't fuck my kids. Because he can't fuck me. So he goes and fucks my family and gets my family pregnant. And so my family want to secretly kill me. You want to kill me, Autumn? You want to kill me, Jean? You want to kill me, Joan? You want to kill me, Carol? Chad? Kim? All of y'all bitches is done. Every last one of y'all bitches is done. I'm sorry. Every last one of you motherfucking girls is done. Because my kids never did anything to y'all. You came for very innocent children that did nothing to y'all. You came for my children. Three boys that did nothing to y'all. You murdered my kids. You murdered my children's spirit. You fucking faggots. You murdered my children's spirits. You raped my fucking boys. And I'm going to bust your fucking ass. I will bust your fucking ass. For everything you did to my children. You think I'm going to lay down and sit on the floor and not do anything. I swear to God, whatever you did to my children, tenfold. All that energy going back to yours. Return the sender. Because when I started it, you started to say it, bitch. You watching me, bitch. You watching my fucking page, bitch. Because you stole my shit when you shot that fucking girl in Orlando, bitch. With Marquise Lloyd. We know you shot that black girl. With Trump. With the fucking police. And you double gang that cop. Because there's another cop in Orlando. That look just like her. You think y'all gonna get away with. Double ganging people. In Orlando. With the KKK. And the Nazis. Y'all gonna just make two and two and three and four of the same motherfuckers. And Mercedes Streets is walking around killing girls. Knocking people off. Because she's a jealous fucking Cuban bitch. Working with DJ Khaled. We the best. We the fucking best. Are we the best? Are we the best? Are we the best? Nigga, y'all is the fucking worst right now. How the fuck is you the best walking around cloning niggas? How the fuck is you the best when you never even paid me, you fucking weirdo? You niggas come from Greece acting like terrorists and shit. Acting like you better than black people. Acting like you better than us. Because you from fucking uh, Greece and you showing your kids ass on the fucking boat. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Why the fuck did you put your son's ass on you on fucking Instagram? I want to know why that motherfucking nigga did that shit. And why the fuck did Diddy put his fucking babies in that goddamn magazine with their chests all open? Why the fuck Janice approved that shit? Kaya was right. Kaya was right about Janice and Diddy. Why the fuck they trying to pimp little girls and little children like pedophiles? I never fucking play that video, The Sky's the Limit, with Biggie. I never play that video. It, it irks me with Diddy. It irks me. It always irked me. Until my... Look. They be having what? Sex with little boys in Honduras. What? What did you say? What did you tell us? What did you tell us that what? Clive Davis and Diddy be having sex with Andre Harrell in fucking Honduras with little boys? Is that what? The, what? What? And Diddy is under investigation. And he a free man. 
and we never been paid? What? Diddy is a what? A slave owner? What? What is Diddy a slave owner? What? And we ain't been paid? <laughs> bitch, we, <laughs> bitch, we ain't been paid? Diddy is a fucking what? A slave owner? A what? And we in the fucking music business and this motherfucker didn't pay us since darling my baby? And you expect us to what? The, the name of the game is to be what? <laughs> fucking calm, bitch? Fat bitch? Lesbian ass bitch? Him and his sister, they owe us fucking money. Sony owes money. Motown owes money. Atlantic owes money. Def Jam owes money. Gramercy owes money. All you motherfucking companies owe me money.